me this. It says, uh, God bless you, grandmother, on your birthday, on always. I guess this is for maybe folks in the South or something, because look it says on the inside. 16 is a wonderful age to be and a very special one, so apparently I guess it's for... The, the kids grow up so fast now. Your grandma. I love this one. Here's Raisin Bran. An excellent source of fiber. That's what it say there, right? Excellent source of fiber. It is? Let's check the fiber. <laughs> Dietary fiber. Zero. Zero. But it's excellent. Eat the box, you'll get more fiber. <laughs> what are they thinking with this? Songs, wildlife, murders, highlight park evenings. Well, you know, two out of three is not bad. Here's appliances for sales, an electric dryer, that's what you want, textured finish, three wire shelves, and of course, frost free. You want a dryer, when they come out frozen, you don't want that. What kind of cheap ass party is this? Here's New Year's Eve, spend the night with us, dinner buffet, 1695, then dance the night away in the bathroom. Yes, dance the night away in the bathroom. What's more romantic than that? I guess with, uh, with the, with the uh, Spirit Rover landing on the red planet, I guess uh, maybe that's what this refers to. Cougars Family Martian Arts Academy. Yes, Martian Arts. There we go. Here's one. Uh, this is Connie. I don't want to give the woman's name. People drive her nuts. It says, uh, Dear Miss Connie, and her last name, we received your request to remove your name and phone number from our files. In checking, unfortunately, we do not have your name and phone number on our files. If you would provide us with your name, number, and address, we will then destroy those numbers. Thank you. <laughs> any, any sense to anybody? What is that? Here's the Britney Spears quote of the day. It's Britney's birthday. It says, I go to a lot of overseas places, like Canada. <laughs> Here's phys ed teacher Mary Austin, teaching assistant Diane Tolucci. Uh, okay, they're promoting, promoting healthy eating and they're wearing these banana costumes. I don't know, somehow that hood could be mistaken. I don't know if that's really the best. I don't really think. I think really bananas. A little, yeah. <laughs> Poorly written headline. Every chef should know they're nuts. I don't know if you really want to go another way. <laughs> Here's a splash proof AM FM radio. You hang it in the shower. Look, has a sleep timer with alarm. You know? <laughs> if you're falling asleep in the shower, I don't really think this is really gonna do that much good. <laughs> The flatulence filter. This is a... You, you, you can carry this with you. A breath of fresh air for you and your fellow... And look, it's got a handle on it. Like you're going to walk through the airport with this thing. You want to keep the burn side on the inside, I guess. Just, I'd like to go sit down. The guy next to you has got one of these. Excuse me, what did you do? Puts that down. Thank you. <laughs> I, I love this one. Here's a cookware set. A manufactured with state-of-the-art technology. Look at this. Look, with the convenience of a non-stick surface. Look at the egg. <laughs> Here's a lovely, a very pretty bride. It's the Curry Parker wedding. Nothing funny about the name. It's just... I hope, I hope... This is the groom in the picture. But look at the woman. There she is having the picture. Who's that guy? Look. Look at the hand. Who's that guy? <laughs> Who's that? Is that the best picture you can find to put in the paper? <laughs> Here's Evergreen, Oregon. Retirement and assisted living center. Keeping your loved ones close to home. Standing room only. Well, <laughs> okay. It's a great home you put me in, kids. I appreciate it. Everyone knows how important getting a colon exam is. A very, very important thing. It just seems to me they could have worded this a little bit better. It's a colon exam valuable. Go in closer, Ellen. Whether virtual or real, anyone over age 50 should have a doctor take a careful look up their butt every few years. Is that really... 
That's the best way to phrase it. The best thing you can come up with. What? Suspect in decapitation case described as hothead. Here's street talk. What have you done to prepare for the next earthquake? Look at this guy. I haven't done anything because I'm really not worried about it. I haven't even bothered to get supplies. John Calkins. Look at his job. Strategic planner. <laughs> <laughs> McFarland students protest. One of the 500 students walked out of class. I like Heather's quote. They're taking everything away. All we're going to end up getting here is an education. <laughs> One more? Oh, <laughs> this, this, this was so stupid. This is a real high-class high class beauty contest. The, this photo of contestants in the Miss Wakanda beauty pageant says a lot about community pride and friendship. Is that the best place for the beauty pageant? Look where they're... <laughs> All righty, folks, you have a headline. Send it to Tonight Show with Jay Leno, 3000 West Alameda Avenue, Burbank, California, 91523. Go to our website. Here's Vinny Fortunato from Poughkeepsie, New York. Vinny, come on out of here. Hey, how are you, Vinny? Hey, how are you, Vinny? Now, now, that's a real chin. Thank you. There you go. Vinny. Vinny, what do you do? I'm a locksmith. Oh, you're a locksmith? Yep. Oh, all right, all right. And, and, and now you had an incident where someone thought you looked like me? Uh, yes, I went to church on Sunday, yeah. and um, <laughs> I go to church every Sunday. You go to church every Sunday? And um, <laughs> I was sitting in the front row, and the uh, priest uh, was staring at me. I thought I had something on my face. And, uh, and all of a sudden, uh, he says, hey, you know, after Mass, I shook his hand. He said, all right, Jay, uh, take it easy. Oh. And that was it. Huh. And yeah. all the parishioners in the, in the parish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you kind of look like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of chin goes that way. But all right. All right. Thank you, Benny. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Benny. All right. Number four here is uh, a woman, Elizabeth Vogt from Seattle, Washington. Elizabeth. Hey, you're a good looking thing. How are you, baby? Yeah. Thank you, yeah, I can have sex with this girl. Hey, I like this girl. Yeah. You know, I'm strangely attracted to this woman. <laughs> now, what, what do you do? Thank you, Jay. I'm a beekeeper. I'm an entomologist. A beekeeper? Oh, yes. well, you have the hair. That's very nice. And, yeah. and, well, is it, is, it, is it insulting to be in, in, in... I mean, you're much more attractive than I am, but isn't that insulting to be mistaken for No, me? not at all. It's, it's a compliment. Oh. They, my friends have said, oh, you're going to have your 15 minutes of fame, and I've been saying, well, maybe it's be 15 minutes of humiliation, but I don't think so. This no, is what. Uh, actually, and you have Ellen DeGeneres' voice. Really? Doesn't she sound like Ellen? Really? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. All I right, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, this is Subash Bob Chad from right here in Los Angeles. Subash? Subash? <laughs> you know, I did play Bombay once. I remember... Now, you, what, you were in our audience once. Yeah, yeah. Aren't yeah. you the cookie guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you, 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 you. I'm in the right there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You, you made me the, you brought me the cookies. Yeah. That's right. That's <laughs> I, and, and I, I, I like big almonds and uh, big leno, so that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> and you're from India? I'm from India. Uh, did, did I get our show over there? Uh, yeah. Are we, are we, yeah. Are we, are we are really? About okay. six months ago. Yeah. And I think yeah. billions of people are watching your show over there, too. Billions of people billions. watching this show. So we have wow. billions of people wow. over there, you know. And th th there's something here about Hawaii. What should I ask you about Hawaii? What is that? Oh, we had a fun. I went with my wife to Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, and we were watching and uh, going through that uh, international market. Yeah. And there were five, six beautiful girls going after me. They thought, is this is Lena. And they were, they, they were never pointing, to me. Point, pointing like this, yeah. and then one lady came, can we have a picture with you? I said, I don't mind. My dear, I'm not the real one. I'm his brother. Oh, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jobach. All right, thank you. Subach. Subach. That's Subach. All right. Let's see. Jim Richard from Yardley, Pennsylvania. Jim, come on out here.
like some horrible cloning experiment gone wrong. And now, no one looks straight ahead. That's what people get. Now, now what do you do? I'm a seventh and eighth grade uh, math teacher at William oh. Penn Middle School. Oh, okay. We must get teased all the time. Uh, yes, all the time. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, single, married? Uh, I'm single, Jay. Now, how does looking like me, does that help on a date? I mean, you see, I've been married so long, I don't know what... Uh, yeah, actually, one time, uh, I go down to Jersey Shore on weekends, right, and I was at a beach club, and two girls walked over and said, uh, you know, are, are you Jay Leno? And I said, yes, I am. You know, but I said, you know, downplay. And they said, well, what are you doing? You know, why, why are you here? I said, well, I'm at Atlantic City at the casinos this weekend. You, you saw the billboard on the way down, right? And they were like, oh, yeah, we did. Oh, oh. There was no billboard. Then. No, you weren't no. there that weekend. And so how did it like, work? Did it, did uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, it, nah, it didn't work. But it didn't I, work they signed some sort of autographs. Oh, yeah. you signed my name. Well, yeah. thank you very much. That's very kind of you to sign my name. Thank you. All right, where's uh, Kyle Green from Vancouver, B.C.? Kyle, come on. Where's Kyle Green? Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> well, look straight ahead so people can think. Actually, you actually you look like me when I was younger. Is that the idea here? Yeah, yeah. Do we, do we have... Uh, <laughs> now, do you get... <laughs> Do you get picked on at school for looking like me? No, it's the, everyone calls me Leno yeah, in school. Yeah. It's, that's what they call me, and no one really knows my real name. So. Oh. <laughs> and, and what's your mom's name? Carmen. Carmen, yes, I was... No, never mind. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Let's bring out Dwight Kindle from uh, Roseboro, North Carolina. Dwight, come on out. Dre, what do you do? I'm a service technician with Sprint Telephone. With Sprint Telephone. Here, wait, look straight ahead. There, look. Okay. Let's see this. What do you think here? Hmm. Close, close, <laughs> close. So you'd be, you'd be like the Southern Atlanta. Yes. Yeah. They think I talk funny. Everybody else around here yeah. talks exactly. funny. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. How about Bob? Now, do you have any Italian in you at all? Any Italian? No. Here? All the English. Oh, English. Well, see, my mother's from Scotland, so oh, maybe okay. that, that's where yeah. it comes from. But yeah. Yeah. close. You Does your father have the chin? Uh, a little bit, yeah, but uh, no, see, I got, you, I got you beat on the chin thing, but close. Pretty close, close. Yeah. All right, Pretty thank close. you, thank you, Dwight, right. thank you, Dwight. Let's see, where is, uh, is that everybody? Well, that's all, okay, we, we have eight of them, okay, here, uh, Owen, come on, come on, gentlemen, come on over here, ladies, gentlemen, come on over here. Owen, this is a tough problem. Let me explain Boy. what we have, uh, what we have, since I like pizza, okay. we have three pizzas, a small pizza for the third place runner-up. <laughs> Uh, medium-sized pizza for the uh, for the uh, second runner-up, but of course the large. <laughs> now, Owen, I want you to use all your skills, your improvisation as an actor, your eye as a writer and director. If you were doing the Leno story, which would you cast? Start with the oh, third place. Third place. Wow. They're uh, all so handsome. Yeah. I might give third place. They are. Again, this is not an easy decision. I can see. Oh, no, it's tough. Number two. Uh... Seven. Four. 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 Oh, no, five. Okay, I see you. I channeled you. I see you going more for the satire version <laughs> of my life. Okay, now the tough one. Let me see. I uh, number. 